Hey viewers, welcome back to Andy's Garage. Hey, today in the garage I'm working on my little 5x8 utility trailer. Uh, I had to get new tires for it. To, I bought this thing brand new back in 2012 and she had the original tires on her and they are wore really, really, really bad. Uh, so I went and priced them just the tires and they were going to be anywhere from about 80 bucks to 100 bucks just for the tires. And uh, so went and I found the tire and rim combo. They were 125 for the set, so I went ahead and bought them. Uh, a few dollars more is worth the headache of trying to take the old tires off the old rims and try to mount the new ones on. Uh, I'm not going to do a tire mounting video. What I decided to do was go ahead and make a uh, video on these bearings and these hubs and I'm going to show you how to take these hubs off and how to pack those bearings. Alright, to get started we're just going to take this dust cover off. Uh, you know, you can use standard screwdriver and try to get in between the cap and the hub. That's whatever you want to do. I like to just take light taps of a rubber mallet or a dead blow like this here. Swing it towards me as I hit that dust cap. And that always seems to get the job done. You don't have to whack it real hard or you beat the crap out of these caps. They're pretty thin metal as it is. You don't need to be beating on them more than you need to. <clears throat> All right, for starters, we're going to take this cotter pin out. They get deformed pretty bad sometimes. Sometimes they can be a little bit of a bear to get out. I like this one. Oh, uh, let's see if we just can't. Break this one off because she's pretty deformed. There you go. <clears throat> I will take our nut off. This is a pretty dirty job. There's going to get grease everywhere. But this is what it is. Take that nut off. <clears throat> now when you go to pull the hub off, be careful so you don't drop this bearing on the ground. She just slides off. There's the outer bearing, and this is the hub with the inner bearing in it. Got some of this grease off my hands. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna go ahead and get a rag here and clean off this spindle. You always want to inspect the spindle too, make sure you don't feel any grooves or anything. But by the looks of that bearing, the uh, by the looks of the bearings, it I wasn't expecting to see anything because the bearings look pretty good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this hub over to the bench and knock the seal out and pull that bearing out, and we'll pack it over there. All right, viewers. Got my seal puller here. Now what I'm going to do is push this bearing down just slightly, get it out of my way. There you go. Now I'm going to be careful pulling the seal out because the supply store where I was going to get my uh, seal. Well, 
They want you to buy the bearing and the seal kit. They won't sell you just the seal. So I gotta be careful not to jink up that seal too much. All right. That awesome side. Pull the bearing out. All right, I'm gonna clean her out. Like I said earlier in the video, this is this is a messy job. That is for sure. It's getting all this full grease cleaned out is it makes it so messy. A lot of you out there know what I mean. It gets pretty messy real quick. All right. Perhaps trust you will break cleaner. Oh yeah, right in the face. Yeah, right in the face. Right. Now that she's clean, we're going to go ahead and wipe down this bearing, get as much of this old grease off as we can before we put it in that bearing packer. Break me right in. Another one bites the dust. Another rag in the trash. Because you will need plenty of rags when you do this, especially to clean this. All this old grease out. All right. Get my bearing pack. Throw my bearing in there. Get a nice hard squeeze. That'll get you every time. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got grease in there. Clean off this old dirty grease that gets squeezed out. Oh. 
put it back in there and squeeze a little more grease into it. All right, I'll just smear the remainder of that grease around the bearing to lube it up. They do, they do go in one way. There's only one way that they go in. Get them in the wrong way, you're not going to get the hub on. And then if you try to force it in the wrong way, you're going to tear up the bearings and quite possibly the hub. Go ahead and clean this seal off. Nothing wrong with the seal. All right, I'm gonna go grab my seal installer and my dead blow, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, I've got my seal installer here and dead blow. And you want your seal installer to be, you know, it's a little bit bigger than the seal itself, and just. Tap it into place till she bottoms out. No, you can get away without using these, but I prefer to use them. That way you know for sure that the seal gets installed evenly. All right, now we got that seal in, and that bearing. Bearing's all greased. I'm gonna take it back over to the trailer and we're gonna grease that uh, front bearing. So. All right, that's what we're gonna do next. See you in just a bit. All right, viewers. We are back at the trailer. We're going to go ahead. Well, let's get this bearing packed first. All right. Take this front bearing. Kind of clean it up a little bit. Some of that old dirty grease off. All right, let's pack this front bearing. There we go. Then again, just kind of clean off any of the old grease you see sticking out. And go ahead and Near the rest of that remainder of the grease all around that bearing. And then you're going to want to dip your finger in the grease container and smear some grease on your spindle. Yeah, just like that. Go ahead and clean off this castle nut. And it's called a castle nut because, hmm, what do you know? Looks like the top of a castle. All right, I'm going to go 
over to the vice real quick. Go grab that hub. And again, as I said earlier, these bearings go in one way. So I'll make sure you get it put in the right way. There we go. I like to spin the hub back and forth. I put that nut on just to kind of help set those bearings in there. That way they're, they are seated properly. Now, see how well our holes are. No, that's too tight. Yeah, that's better. When you go to test the spindle, how it spins, you do want to put a cotter pin in it because uh, if you don't have it, Tight enough that castle nut will want to try to spin on you a little bit. All right, let's bend these cotter pins over. Yeah, you just want it enough to where it's tight and this hub spins freely, but you don't want it too loose either, where the hub is going to have this lateral in and out. You want it nice and you want it tight but not too tight and that right there is perfect all right now that all that's done we're just going to put the dust cap back on you don't have to beat that dust cap hard just just tap it because you don't want to i mean it's already kind of banged up uh just from being used uh but yeah if it, that's real thin metal and you can deform it real quick. And always make sure you put your dust cap back on. You do not want those bearings exposed to the element. Because this back this uh rear seal, you know, helps out. It keeps a lot of the moisture and things like that out, you know, protruding through the backside. And this is what helps seal it from the outer side. Alrighty, folks, that's going to uh, end this video. Uh, I'm going to put the tire back on. I'm not going to do a tire mountain video. I'm not going to film the other side. It's going to be the same. Not only that, I want some music in here and YouTube and their whole copyright garbage with the background music drives me nuts. They've already flagged me a couple times already for that, but whatever, I guess. I'm not in this to monetize anyway. Anyway, uh, simple job anybody can do it there i usually try to do it at least once a year I try to do it in the spring but the only reason i'm doing it today is because i had to get the new tires because my son's going to need to use the trailer next week to help a lady move so anyway hey this video was helpful wheel on down to that comment section and let me know like my videos and subscribe and as always i appreciate you and thanks for watching